Hey there, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna dive into the Chrome extension that we have with PDF.ai, and I love the way that it's gonna help you improve your workflow on a daily basis. So with PDF.ai, you do have a wonderful and easy to use platform where you can interact with and upload PDFs in order to chat with it through our PDF.ai chatbot. However, it is a lot more easier in a lot of ways to interact with files using our extension. Be able to chat with local PDFs on your browser, chat with PDFs in Dropbox, chat with PDFs in Google Drive, and chat with any public PDF file. Let's dive into all the different ways that this can work. So first of all, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you uh, do go to get the Chrome extension, pretty easy to find, pdf.ai, Chrome extension here, and then you're just gonna log in and you're good to go from there. So for example, with the first option, say if I were to go to any PDFs that I had, like my book, 10 Steps to Saving Time and Doing More, it's a PDF that is within my browser now, but it is a local PDF. So then if we were to click on this right here, since I'm already signed in, all I need to do is utilize this on the bottom right, and then you have the option to, if it was an image, click on OCR. We're not gonna do that in this video. And if we don't wanna save this on our server, we can in fact uh, check off this, but I'm just gonna press confirm, which will make it so that we get started with interacting with this. So now, as you'll see right here, I can ask a question like, what are the 10 steps to saving time and doing more? And then from there, it'll write out all of these and I get to interact with this in my browser without having to go into the actual pdf.ai app. Now, this is the case with all of the different options and I can keep interacting with this and upload this file here without changing any of the settings. And you'll notice now that when I go into the actual account that I have, you'll see that 10 steps to saving time and doing more was uploaded. And now I can interact with it in here if I wanted to. So it is an easy way to like kind of quick capture stuff. And what I mean by that is, for example, if there's a, any public PDF file like Seneca's Moral Letters and then find a PDF version of that guy. I'm a huge fan of Seneca and his work. Uh, in philosophy. So you'll notice that this is just a PDF of Seneca's Moral Letters, which is a great work of his. So if I press this on the bottom right once again and press confirm, this is any random public PDF, not a local one. First, it will upload it into my account. So if I refresh this, you'll see Seneca's letters. And then I can ask, what are the main three points of this PDF? And it gives us some great summarization of the key points here. Uh, very simple and easy to do without needing to go back into PDF.ai, but I can always go back in there if I wanted to. So I like this from a quick capture standpoint with any local PDF, I can just press this button. It's already in my PDF.ai account. And while I can interact with it in real time, it doesn't hurt that I can go back and interact with it later. Now, the same kind of stuff actually works with Dropbox and Google Drive. So if I went to my drive, and you'll see 10 steps to saving time and doing more, uh, the PDF right here. All you need to do is copy this link, paste it into another tab. And then now that it's in this uh, link view right here, once again, I can press this, I can choose to save it, and uh, does the exact same thing. It saves the PDF. I can be like, all right, who is Dimitri? Panici. Oh, that's good. Now I know more about myself. How cool is that? And just like everything else, still goes right back into the system and basically captures that PDF. Extremely simple and easy to do. And then this exact same system works with Dropbox. So say, for example, I needed to get a PDF from there. It's more based off of link views uh, than like opening it up in that exact uh, way, like through Google Drive. If we open it up in the normal sense, it's not gonna showcase here. It's all about like getting it into a, a linked view, uh, similar to what we had with the public PDFs and whatnot. So if we go into this and click into it, unlike with the link situation with Google Drive and other ones, inside of our Dropbox account, actually it's uh, already set as a .pdf, so that's how it's gonna work. Uh, we basically, same process, can press this guy, it'll say get Dropbox link, and then it'll copy that link, and then essentially put it inside of it. So after it gets the Dropbox link, and you authorize it, it'll be able to do the exact same thing, and then upload it to the system, just like all the other ones. And then similar to all the other ones, we can interact with it, it'll go into our PDF.ai account, and we can get going on interacting with things a lot easier than having to go into the app. I love the way that this workflow enhances our ability to improve what we're doing on a daily basis without needing to go crazy and jump into a million different hoops, upload files, interact with your different storage platforms, whether it be your desktop, the web, Google Drive, Dropbox, all those different things, so easy to do. If you like this video and wanna see more on how to improve your skills using PDF.ai, make sure to check out videos like this one right here. 